Hey guys, I'm Tony with AwesomeDrills.com. Welcome back. Uh, we're doing some kicking drills today with our heavy shields and Mr. Gary. So this one's going to be a spinning side kick or a spinning back kick. Now the difference in the two. Uh, the spinning side kick, everybody knows how to do a side kick. Knee comes up, leg extends out. When you add the spin, comes out here. Now, when you're throwing the back kick, it stays a little tighter and goes straight back. Imagine like the legs are staying right alongside of each other. I like to do both. I think that the spinning back kick, where the knee doesn't come out as much, is faster, more effective, and it's harder to miss the opponent uh, when you do it that way. I've noticed the spinning side kicks, uh, unless you've just really perfected them, have a tendency to graze off. You want to be great at both of them. But me, personally, I think the back kick is a little bit more effective. I'm going to do both today. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a little bit of space. Now again, this is a timing, a reaction, a distance drill. So you can incorporate that into those types of themes that you're running in your class. Power is a power kick, so it can be for that. So what Mr. Gary's going to do is he's going to come barreling at me. He's going to try to just run me over. Now in class, you don't want your kids to actually literally run them over, but you want them to jam them up. So if he can get the bag close to me to where I can't kick, that's his goal. That's his objective. My objective is to hit him before he gets there. So if I'm slow and I don't get there quick enough, oh, psh, he jams me up. Okay, so if my timing's not there, if my speed's not there, that's what's gonna happen. So what I wanna do is I wanna really watch him, I wanna watch his body mechanics. As soon as he starts to come in, I wanna time that just right and make sure that I have my distance there. So as he starts to come in, then I start to throw it, okay? So that one was just, I could tell right away. And here we talk about awareness again, when you're, when you're running your classes. If your students are throwing a kick, and it's supposed to be something specific, and they're not hitting that specific mark or target or chamber, whatever it is, they've got to start to recognize those things. Like for example, on that kick, I noticed I kicked right about here, which is not where I wanted to be. I wanted to be in the center. So as long as I acknowledge that, and I know that, and I realize that, uh, I can make those adjustments. If I don't ever think about those types of things, I can't make any of those improvements. Therefore, I can't become any better. So for, again, let's go one more time. Boom. A little bit more solid. I was a little bit more here in the center there. Um, now, that is the spinning back. That's a little bit more in tight. Now, you can also do it with the spinning side kick where the knee comes out a little bit more. Or you can add a jump to it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of that hop. Okay? Now, you, again, have to be able to do it with both legs. So a cool drill is once they get really good at this, have them go, set, be ready to go with the other leg. So he's gonna come at me, I'm gonna throw it, he's gonna go back and reset, and then immediately come right back at me without giving me too much time to reset myself. So I should be able to kick, reset, and be ready to go within a second or so. So we're here, he comes barreling in, boom, he's back out, he comes barreling in, bang, I hit him with the other side. Just like that. Now I would do it in, like make that, like one set. Boom, one, two, and then back. A little second. Rest a little second. And then he comes running in. Bang! Hit him one. Hit. Boom! Hit him again. And then rest. Then you can go, let's do it twice in a row. So that would be considered one. Boom, boom. That's one. And then again, he comes in. Boom, boom. That's two. Let's see if we can get four done. Just like that. And then, of course, the more advanced your students are, you can have them add jumps. You can have them do more than just two or four. It's up to you. It's your drill now. Turn it into whatever it is that you want it to be. I'm Tony with AwesomeDrills.com with Mr. Gary. Have an awesome one.